Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I am going to be bringing you all of the speed cleaning motivation you could ever possibly want or need. This video is going to be going through a couple of days, so you'll see several different outfit changes, but you know, we have to do what we have to do around here, especially because I am a full-time working mom of three kiddos. This is actually our last week with cheerleading practice because Today, the day that I'm actually editing this video, was Lila's first national championship for cheerleading, and they did so good. They didn't place, but that's okay. They tried their hardest. They have really come very far from the beginning of this cheerleading season, and honestly, I cannot wait for next season. But anyways, so no more cheerleading practice after this video. Thank goodness, because mommy needs a break. <laughs> But anyway, it was a good season nonetheless, but it does fill up our evenings. So I barely have any time to get anything done. So my weekends are usually filled. And when we possibly can, we do stuff on the weeknights, but it it's very few and far between when there's practice involved. So a couple of clips in this video, you'll see that there are different outfits and that's just because we do what we can when we can. And that's just the way it is around here right now. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking, put on some great upbeat music so that you can speed clean along with me and hopefully get as much motivation as you could possibly need for today. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. So unfortunately, this is not the only load of dishes that you are going to see in this video. This just happened to be what I did on Sunday night. And then tomorrow, the next day is Monday and there's still a mess in the kitchen that I have to clean up before I can go ahead and get dinner started, which I am going to share with you this new recipe that I tried. It is a smothered pork chop recipe. And let me tell you, 
Oh my goodness, it was so good. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys here in just a moment, but until then we are going to get this kitchen clean round one. I just have to say really quickly, this pot was so annoying to clean. We had cooked gumbo in it um, a night or two ago, and obviously we took care of the food that was in the pot, but I had to let it soak for like a day or two to get this burnt bit out of the bottom, and I couldn't get it out. I'm like, I'm scouring it with a scrubber. I'm scouring it with steel wool. I cannot get this stupid burnt piece out of the bottom, and finally... I put this pot on the stove and heated it up with water in it and it finally came loose. And oh my goodness, it just, it took forever. So here we are on night two and round two of dishes. I have to get all these dishes put away and then load everything up that's in the sink into the dishwasher. So I have room to cook tonight. <laughs>
All right, so on to this awesome smothered pork chop recipe. I take bone-in pork chops, and I usually get my meat at Aldi because it is a great price for a good product. And I am just turning on the stove to, what did I do, 375, I guess. <laughs> I usually use a meat thermometer to check the doneness of my meat, so um, these were still a little frozen in the center, so I'm kind of prying them apart, but I do take bone-in pork chops and I am going to be seasoning them and I'll show you which seasonings I use in just a second. Jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do there ain't nobody like there ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking me So after seasoning the pork chops, I'm just going to take two cans of cream of mushroom soup and mix in one box of stovetop, either turkey or chicken or pork. I think I still had turkey left on hand from Thanksgiving, so I just used turkey. And I just mixed all of that together and I spooned it right on top of the pork chops. So lucky to be yours. So once you have the topping all spread on top of the pork chops, I have these french fried onions that a lot of people put on top of green bean casserole, but they taste so good on these right after they come out of the oven and then back in for another five minutes just so they get all nice and warm and crispy. But I do cook these covered at, what, like 375 until they're done? <laughs> I think they were only in the oven for about 30 minutes, but I do use a meat thermometer just to make sure and you want to make sure that the pork is to at least 145 internal temperature for a medium, um, I guess, a medium cooked pork. But anyways, we're moving on to the pork, the pork chops. <laughs> Those are potatoes. We're moving on to the mashed potatoes. And I usually just leave the skin on for these potatoes. These are yellow gold potatoes and they have a fairly thin skin. So I don't waste time cutting it off or peeling it off. And we were having an extra guest for dinner tonight, so I did make quite a bit of potatoes to the point where they almost didn't fit in this pot. So I could not fit that last little potato in. <laughs> so anyways, I cut these up into chunks, fill it full of water, and put it on the stove. And then for this gravy, I really take a lot of help from the grocery store, and I take a jar of gravy. Um, I can't remember the brand that I typically use. This is from Aldi, so... It's just a regular turkey gravy. And then I go ahead and add in all of the seasonings that I added on top of my pork chops and let this simmer over a low heat until all of those seasonings are combined. And there you go. Super simple, elevated gravy. It tastes a lot better than when it comes right out of the jar. So 
So now that dinner is cooking, we are going to get back to cleaning so that we can actually sit at this table and eat tonight. We have all of this stuff that's sitting here on the floor in the kitchen where the kids do their homework and all of the table is covered with homework and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this tidied up, get a few things put away so that once dinner is ready, we can sit down and eat. So obviously we're here on another night and I came home from work and went right to work getting mom stuff done like clearing up this living room because it was driving me nuts. There's just laundry everywhere all day every day. So I needed to get all this cleared out and finish folding these towels before I had to go in and start dinner for tonight. And after I finished folding these towels, our floors needed some serious attention, especially in the kitchen and the living room where we have the absolute most traffic in our home. So I am going to be mopping tonight as well. And I'll show you why in just a moment. No judgment zone. This is just real life with three kids and a dog and a whole bunch of guys, well, two guys tromping around in the house with their boots on. So <laughs> it is what it is. So, but we're gonna get it cleaned up.
Thank y'all so much for joining me here today in this speed clean video. This is going to be the last video that goes live before Vlogmas starts on Wednesday. Unfortunately, this video took me a lot longer to get up than I had wanted because I have been sick, so I've been trying to get over that. <laughs> but thankfully, we finally got this video up, so I am really looking forward to starting Vlogmas, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.